The theme of this episode was definitely growth. What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be checking out Haikyuu's Season 4, Episode 8, Challenger. The show once again continues to just blow my mind with revisiting characters' growth that I had thought we already hashed out. It just shows how real this show can really be. Will they beat Daytech? I don't think they will, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Just because Daytech is definitely on their high right now. All right, guys, I'm just ready to hop right into it. So let's get to it. Oh, oh, they clashed. Oh. What? <laughs> It's so hard for Hinata to get lost in the crowd though. Like someone else really needs to capture Daytech's attention. Cause he's he his eyes are on Hinata. Oh, they're doing the sync attack or the synchronized attack. Hey! Oh, was it out? Oh, okay, okay, okay. How many sets are they doing? Did I miss that? Seal walk? Why? What's the purpose of it a seal walk? ドシャットじゃなくてもあらゆる攻撃に2枚はついてくるし。ひなたの超速攻自体にも触る。そして試合後半疲れてきたひなたを魔王にしてください。だてこうの超理想的なストーリー。That's <笑><笑> Uh, and that was like the biggest hurdle in season two was that the nervousness of his attack getting blocked and now two seasons later we just come to that acceptance that there's other ways around it it's just so wholesome <laughs> you see a just in turn Oh, I like that move when they slide their hand and the ball hits the top of their hand. I think that's such an impressive like move. Oh my gosh, Hinata! <laughs> Look at Kaiyam in the back. How <laughs> did they do that? <laughs> しびれを切らしたブロッカーがゲスブロックしてブロックシステム崩壊。うん。カラスのの超理想的なストーリー。Oh <笑><笑><笑> my gosh. 8 sets. Do we still determine a winner of whoever win the most sets or when I keep in count? Oh, oh, I was out though. It's not that though. It's like you guys have done so much. Oh. Oh, <笑>いや、僕ちょっとかっぽい。あいロブ。てる。広瀬。おお。あ、わし。ビシビさん、practicing I like how he landed. He like landed straight down. <laughs> that was actually really cute. Oh, wait, did he get it? He did. Oh my gosh, look at Hinata's face. Look at his face. I was just gonna say he was so focused on Hinata that Kaiyama, I mean, Kaiyama didn't even do the set yet. 
Because reading block is after the ball gets set, right? でも<笑><笑><笑> Oh, I love to hear Asahi. The growth. Oh, we're gonna have Asahi break the wall. That'd be a nice touch. Hey. I wonder what the difference is. How many did they tech one compared to our guys? Because it wasn't as obvious as I thought they were gonna put it. Oh. <laughs> he had his jump. Natsuga <laughs> <laughs> with the bean bug. We're more healing Shiogan. It was just so random. I found it funny. At this point now, I love that there's just like no dialogue. It's just that like mutual respect. At first, it used to kind of bug me. That'd be me, I'd totally drop, but you won't catch me doing push-ups. It's good that he's practicing his overhand receives, though. But don't you want to, like, I don't know, expand your skill set? Yeah, like, they're all doing overhand. Mm. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, it goes both ways. It's the same way when uh, when Hinata was ball boy, right? Like, yeah, the practice was for the other guys that were invited, but it was just as much of a practice with uh, Hinata as well. He was learning so many new things. So it's the same here, whether you're serving or receiving. <laughs> and Yamaguchi too. I'm just loving seeing this growth. Like the little hints that they keep putting in the episode. <laughs> Let your sister play with you. There's a squishy one? That looks hard the heck? Oh, how cute! It's a bouncing ball! <laughs> Hinata! He's really showing his sister like the hardest move possible. I'm loving this. A scene with a sister. It's impressive. Whoa. Aww. Wow, the observation. Oh. <gasps> wow. That says a lot. The theme of this episode was definitely growth. Like everything just like all tied in for some reason to me in this episode. Okay, so there's a few things, right? Like first off, I thought it was gonna be a a black and white telling of who was gonna win this practice match. No, not at all. It was just literally them playing for as long as they could. And that was that. There was like no reveal of who won how many sets or nothing like that. I think that would have been pretty cool to know just because I was 
uh, voting on Baytex. So I wanted to know if that was right. I feel like towards the end though, like our guys were, or both teams were just so tired. I felt like it wasn't really productive to go as far as eight sets, if that makes sense. And then the one thing that stuck out to me the most was just how the show was trying to like imply the growth into almost every player, if I'm being honest. like. Every single scene that popped up and whenever they would try to like say comments about another person or, or reflect on oneself, it tied into how they used to be before and how far they've come along. At this point, I don't think there's any player that's really stagnant. The cherry on top was that scene with the sister. This scene was what you would expect from how Hinata would interact with the sister and she's such a good sport about it too. And such a sweet character being able to share that wisdom of her witnessing the relationship of her brother and a volleyball. It honestly seemed very mature for her age and it was just so enduring to see. I know the goal is the spring tournament but I just don't know if they'll make us go through another practice match or what the deal is. They didn't really imply anything towards the ending of this episode so it's gonna be fun finding out what's next for us. But alright guys I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below. I love hearing from you guys. Subscribe for more content and I'll see y'all for the next one.